Welcome to Adventures in Small Business, a collaborative effort by the U.S. Small Business Administration Hawaii District Office, the Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and the Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific to showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses. I'm Colleen McAlooney from the Pat Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and today we have Noella Napoleon, Vice President and Chief Administrative Officer of Frozen Fund, LLC. Hey, Colleen. Hi, Noella. Hi. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Definitely. Uh, so let's see. Let's get right into it. Okay. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself mm -hmm. and your business? Okay. So, yes, I'm an entrepreneur. And let's see. Now I am at the end of my 24th year in business. Woohoo! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and um, I run a family-owned business with my husband and my three children. And it's been a wild ride. We are um, distributors of frozen beverage products and ice cream. Yeah. Okay. So now that we're at this stage in our lives, our kids are grown, going to college. They're also involved in operating our business. Mm. And we're looking to transition, um, passing the baton on to them. Yeah. Second generation. Yeah, second generation, which is so cool. That's very exciting. Yeah. Very yeah. exciting and very challenging, yes. I'm sure. Yes, it yes. is. Uh, you know, you raise your children and right there at, they're at the point where they're capable mm -hmm. to take over. But the transition, teaching them everything, um, they come with a no lot of knowledge because, of course, they learn. grew up with the business. Growing up, yeah. Right. So that's kind of half the battle. There's all these things that still have to be taught and passed over. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at. And uh, it's really exciting, actually. They are uh, capable and creative. So I'm really grateful that we have them as the next generation because they bring a completely different perspective. Mm -hmm. And in this entrepreneurial time, it's perfect yes. for young ones to take over businesses. Oh, that's yep. very exciting. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So let's see. Why don't you tell us the, the, um, the name of your company mm -hmm. and what your company does and what you provide? Sure. So the name of our company is Frozen Fun, LLC. We were formerly known as uh, Slush Puppy Hawaii, mm -hmm. but we are actually rebranding. Oh. We're going through a rebrand on top of that. So businesses of life cycles, and we decided it was time to just refresh our brand. And so we've created new logos, new looks, mm -hmm. and we're just starting that process. Okay. So we're now, Slush Puppy Hawaii is now Frozen Fun, LLC. Yes. And um, we basically have three branches of our business, three enterprises. We distribute products. So if you're a hotel, if you are a restaurant, a cafeteria, a hospital, mm -hmm. any kind of food service operation, we have beverage products and ice cream products for you to serve to your customers. Okay. Uh, we also have a party rental business, which is people can come and rent the same type of equipment we uh, put out there in the commercial sector. Mm -hmm for your baby luau mm -hmm. or your graduation party. Yeah. Okay. And then we have a big, huge pink and white ice cream truck. It's oh. called the Frozen Fun Mobile. Oh, OK. There it is. And so we go out. People can rent our truck for parties. We oh. cater, really. OK. And also for fundraisers. Okay. Yeah, that's all called our Frozen Funds program. Right. So if your school or your sports uh, league wants to raise money, we'll come out and donate a percentage of sales to mm -hmm. your cause. And oh, that's cool. without co cost. We just roll up and right. donate money. Oh, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. Okay, so let's go back. So the commercial, just to explain a little bit more for the uh, commercial um, portion of your business. Yes. So you will also, you sell products yes. and equipment? Yes, we sell frozen uh, beverage concentrates mm -hmm. that are put into machines mm -hmm. and dispensed. Okay. And also ice cream, soft serve ice cream. Oh, soft serve. Okay. Yeah. And if you buy one of those pieces of equipment from us, then we also repair the equipment. Mm -hmm. So that's a service that we provide. I see. And um, we're always trying to innovate. For many years, for most of the life of our business, we've sold ice cream, mm -hmm. right? And frozen, you know, sweet treats. Yeah. Um, and we realized that. More and more, thankfully, we're becoming more health conscious. Mm -hmm. 
And so we've been working for about a year to create a new product that is not dairy-based. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's actually an all plant-based ice cream. Mm -hmm. So no dairy, no lactose. It's 100% dairy-free. And that's called Neo Soft Serve. So Neo means a coconut tree. Mm -hmm. And so we sell uh, four flavors, coconut, ube, palakahiki, which is pineapple, and kokoleka, which is chocolate. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it's available now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and there's some pictures of it. Excellent. Yay, there we so, are. So let's see. So how did this new product come about? Uh, well, <laughs> yes, my sons are millennials, mm -hmm. right? So they are, have followed the path of, uh, you know, sort of transparency in food. They want to see what's in the ingredients. They want to know how it was grown. Mm -hmm. And they're very healthy eaters. And okay. they're super health conscious. And we just thought, uh, taking a lead from them, mm -hmm. you know, my two sons, Aikue and Kekahu, and um, they wanted to create something that would Feel the need for their generation you know right. they eat much healthier thank goodness mm -hmm. so it's really them they're the spearhead and they've been working for about a year to develop a healthier product um, so we've brought the sugar down we've um, cut the fat mm -hmm. and there's no dairy in it so you're not going to ever feel uncomfortable and this is something that resonates with um, you know the trends in eating mm -hmm. So we hope that it's something that our market will respond to. They already are. Uh, people are, the feedback we're getting is that they're really happy. Uh, we've been a traditional, you know, ice cream company for right. all these years. And now we have something to offer the new generation. So we're super excited about that. Right. Yeah. So this new, this new product is a soft serve. It's a well. soft serve. And it's a coconut based? It's all coconut based. Okay. So. Okay. It's 100% coconut, which has been powderized. That's mm -hmm. the trick to soft serve. It's mm -hmm. not a scoop ice cream, although, you know, we can make that. We mm -hmm. can put it in tubs. So we can pretty much customize any application. Mm -hmm. So if you're a restaurant and you have a soft serve machine, you can purchase our product. Or if you don't have a soft serve machine, we can pack it for you. Mm -hmm. And so you can scoop it for your customer. Oh, all righty. Yeah, we're getting... That way you don't have to have the machine if you really yeah, no, don't want it. Oh, no okay. need. And uh, the response has been great because at first, um, we're noticing that the people who would not consume... We're testing it out in our ice cream truck, actually. Oh, all right. So it's this ice cream truck, but we have this plant-based product. Mm -hmm. And so people will walk by and they'll, you know, go like this, lactose intolerant people, of course. And then we'll say, uh, well, it's plant. It's all plant-based. They turn around real quick. And they try it, and they say, oh, thank God, you know, I can't eat dairy. So right. we're super happy, and it took quite a while to develop this product. Mm -hmm. And it's been a thrill um, developing it with my sons because we are trying to transition them, you know, up, mm -hmm. up becoming entrepreneurs. So it's a great opportunity to work directly with them, let them take the lead. And so this is their baby. It's their product. So, so they've, have, they've had almost an immediate impact in your current business oh, then. Oh, yes. They're bringing us into the new era. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, they're kind of trailblazing for us. So mm -hmm. it's, it's great. So, you know, if you have a small business out there, if you don't have children, think about, you know, your employees. And really, I'm really glad that we um, opened up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying the road's easy because we do still have old and new mindsets, right? Yes. So for me, it's a matter of really trying to think forward and be open to what the new generation has to right, offer. Right. Yeah. I know that um, that type of transition can be very challenging. So <laughs> are there any specific, um, what are maybe some specific challenges that you and your husband have faced in this transitioning? Slow, it's a slow transition, yes. I'm sure. But yeah, what are, what are some of the challenges maybe? Some of the challenges are just remembering that although my children are employees, um, I mean, although there are children, they're also uh, professionals, mm -hmm. and that's how we're raising them to be. So, <laughs> you know, at work, it can be a challenge to remember that you have to, when you go to work, you're not mom and dad. Mm -hmm. You know, that's your employee, and now there are partners in business. 
So making that transition, and even for them, mm -hmm. you know, to remember that I'm not mom at work, and for me to remember that they are our colleague. So that's the number one thing is remembering that you're, you're interacting on a different basis now. Right. And the other thing is not to be, have expectations that are too high. Mm -hmm. You know, we just assume that they, they were raised in the business, they should know this. You know, but really, they're learning for the first time from a different perspective, from inside the business. Mm -hmm. So they haven't gotten all the mechanics yet. Yeah. And the third challenge I would say is when they do have an idea, um, and this is the big one for me, is not to just come with your old paradigm. Mm. Really trying to have a lot of empathy for what they're experiencing as the new generation mm -hmm. and holding back and really listening to hear, not trying to judge, not trying to just patiently wait until you can tell them how it is. Yes. You know, that's been a huge challenge and a lesson for me, and I'm still trying to learn how to do that. Oh. But it's putting on the true listening ears and the listening heart and observation and hearing what they're trying to say. Right. You know, it's all three of those things. Oh, oh, all challenging, <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. But it sounds like you're overcoming it and you're introducing a new product and a new, a different side of your business is, yes. is starting to develop and has been developed already. Yeah, we're, we're, what we're exchanging is my children are helping us to learn how the market is behaving now mm -hmm. and the new upcoming consumers. Mm -hmm. And we're able to pass on to them the practical, everyday aspects of business management, like how business money really works, the financials, profit and loss, profit margins, all these things, which unless you really are down in the weeds with your business, you wouldn't know that. You know, so entrepreneurship is, it gets, um, it gets hard sometimes, you know. It's not all passion, passion, passion. Sometimes you have to get in there and just just learn and grow. Mm -hmm. And the passion will come. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so they, they probably know all the logistics of setting up an event. Yes. Of helping from, you know, helping behind the scenes as they were growing up. Yes. But it's the actual day-to-day -day business, running the business. Yes. Which is what they really are learning now. Yeah. It's the money part. It's the legal part. Mm -hmm. The liabilities. Um, transactional um, situations where, you know, we have a situation with a customer and now they need to learn to think fast, mm -hmm. you know, how to meet the customer's needs, but also think about uh, our resources and what we can actually do and not do and um, just providing great customer service. So it's, it's, it is a process. So I would just say for all the other um, families in transition, patients all around. Right. On both sides. It can be fabulous. I'm having a great time. And it's brought us a lot closer. Oh, that's spectacular. Yeah. So yeah. tell us, uh, we're about to go to break, so tell us where uh, the people who are just interested in tasting the new soft serve, where sure. can they find that? I think the most central location uh, right now would be um, down at Ohana Hale Marketplace, mm -hmm. where the old uh, sports authority used to be. Okay. You can go see Tiny Ward, Tadani down Avenue. there. Yeah, he has... Coconut and ube, which is right. everybody's loving it. Go see him. He's walked straight in and he's in the back. Mm -hmm. We also are selling at a bakery called Chocolate and Vanilla in Kaimuki. And um, also Aloha Whip in Waikiki. Mm -hmm. And ube. It's ube bakery in Kalihi. Oh, There's fantastic. a couple more, but um, though they're coming on board every day. We just launched the product. Mm -hmm. So we have um, some outlets that you can go try. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, go try it. And if you like it, then let me know. That's great. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, we'll be back in just a minute, and we will hear some more from Noella Napoleon from Frozen Fun LLC. Aloha. This is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at 3, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world, and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there and we have an awesome 
a studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to come away inspired like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at 3 o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming salamat po. Mabuhay and aloha. Welcome back to Adventures in Small Business. I'm Colleen McAlooney with the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. And today we have Noella Napoleon with us from Frozen, I'm sorry, from Frozen Fun LLC. Mm -hmm. There we go. And uh, let's see, next we're going to talk about Noella's um, connection and ties with the Small Business Administration mm -hmm. partners mm -hmm. and what types, if you did, if your business, uh, your small business received any funding through mm -hmm. the SBA sure. or uh, let's just, let's hear about your um, experience with that. Sure. So when we started our business, uh, we started literally with the money we had in our pockets, mm -hmm. right? We actually didn't have two nickels to rub together. Um, we had an opportunity to buy a business, and we did. Yeah, I was pregnant at the time, and it just everything came together. So we, we went for it um, with what little we had, and we tried to get a bank loan. And they said, well, you know, you have to come back later. It's too young in the game. Give us two years in, and then we'll see where you're at. So we did. You know, we took out small loans from our parents, actually, which was very nice of them. Yeah. And off we went. So we put in our two years, and, and right at that mark, we went back to the bank. And they said, well, you know, it's still not 100%, but we're going to go to the SBA, Small Business Administration. We didn't know who that was at uh -huh. the time. And we'll see if they will guarantee your loan. And so we were shocked. We didn't know, you know, such a thing existed. So. Right. Uh, and we got it. The SBA um, agreed to guarantee the loan for us. It was 50000 not mm -hmm. too much. Um, and they said, well, okay. It's enough to be scary, though. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. more than I've ever borrowed in my life. <laughs> Definitely. I was 20, 31 years old, I think, something like that. Okay, so off we went with our $50,000 loan. And, um, but they also wanted us to get some business counseling, mm -hmm. you know, not just here's some money. So they sent us to SCORE, and uh, we met a man named Gene Lithgow, mm -hmm. who was a CEO for a car company before, and um, he was, I'm sorry, CFO, I believe, mm -hmm. financial, and he came to our place of business, he taught us how to set up our books, and he was fabulous, oh, and he didn't even use QuickBooks, he was by hand, right? right. But he taught us the financial equations, all the formulas and how to make money, leasing versus renting. So for a good, um, wow, two years, he was our advisor. Oh, amazing. Yeah, without him, we wouldn't have not, I don't know what we would have done without our score advisor. Right. He taught us the ropes. I mean, we, you know, we had, we're having fun running the business and selling things and but, thinking you're making money yeah. when you're probably not. <laughs> Man, you know, when a, an accountant sits there, a CPA sits there, and he teaches you how money works, there's mm -hmm. a trick to it. Who knew, right? Right. And so with that knowledge, my husband and I were able, were able to um, absorb and grow because we're both learners. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm really glad that we're curious about everything. So we sat side by side with him. And he didn't hold anything back. Um, that he passed away, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But thank goodness, and we're grateful that he taught us a lot about the difference between revenue and profit. Right. <laughs> oh, no. We thought we were getting rich, and he was just showing us, well, you know, not right. rich yet. Right. Oh, um, so you, you really uh, 
we really learned a lot and were able to take advantage of one of the SBA partners, which is yeah, SCORE. Yeah, which is SCORE. And, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, so we're very grateful to this day for all that advice we got. And Excellent. also they sent us to, um, I believe it was the Small Business Development Center. I'm not sure if that was the name of it, probably. And uh, our counselor gave us a business plan template. Mm. That was a huge challenge because I had never written a business plan before. All the questions were laid out. Um, but I did have some nonprofit experience, so I thought, okay, this looks like a grant application. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just, you know, went at it. I had no specialized skills in writing a business plan whatsoever, mm -hmm. just a little bit of background in writing proposals. And, uh, you know, had to write a business plan. And it was growth, uh, uh, a huge learning curve. Right. And, However, because of that, we were able to make profit, um, revenue and profit within our first three years. And we were growing, I believe, at 380% annually. So our accountant, after Gene, he entered us into the Pacific Business News Contest. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we got to be acknowledged as one of Hawaii's fastest 50 growing companies. Oh, congratulations. And all that fun stuff, you know, get that recognition. And that was our introduction into really promoting our business, mm -hmm. learning how to use the tools of advertising, promotion, put your brand out there, you right. know. And that also is thanks to SCORE mm -hmm. and to um, SBA because. I don't think we would have taken the kinds of um, bold steps to really promote, 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 had it not been for being surrounded by really wise advisors. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing when to go forward, knowing when to hold back. That's the difference. Right. And I can honestly say that. Um, Take the leap or not yet. Know right. when to hold up and fold up, you know. Yes. So that was it. That made the big difference. And we hit our hard times. Mm -hmm. You know, when 9-11 came. Not many people realize, unless you're a business, right, in the market, you know, the stock market knows this, but on the street, you don't realize, we don't realize how hard small businesses were hit. Mm -hmm. But with the skills and knowledge we learned um, through the SBA advisors, we learned to hold steady, how right. to spend money, how not to spend money, where to make those decisions. And that guidance, um, you know, it's the difference between flailing around out there and having someone to advise you right, every step of the way. So oh, that's fantastic. I recommend SBA to, I'm not just saying that, I mean, that really happened, and right. it's thanks to, the, thanks to the SBA's guidance that we were able to have that um, knowledge and right. wisdom. Yeah. Well, if we fast forward a bit from that time, mm -hmm. we can explain what Noella's passion is, actually, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and, and why she is, uh, such a staunch supporter of um, the Small Business Administration and its partners. Yes. So, uh, Noella also is a, a supporter of the Boots to Business program, mm -hmm. which is put on by the Veterans Business Outreach Center, another SBA partner. Mm -hmm. And Noella is a uh, instructor yep. for that program. And in fact, this year she is the, let's see, I want to make sure I get it right. She is the uh, SBA Awards and Hawaii Business Magazine Editor's Choice Award winner for the Veterans Small Business Advocate of the Year. So congratulations. Yay. <laughs> I actually didn't know I was an Editor's Choice Award winner. Thank you, Hawaii yes, Business, and thank definitely. you, SBA. So congratulations yeah. for that. Thank you. And, uh, give us a, just a brief uh, description of uh, Boots to Business and what it is the program does. Sure. So, yeah. Um, just how I got here was when I was headed for 50, I decided that it was time to help the next person, mm -hmm. like how the SBA helped me. So I was looking for a way to give back, and I thought, well, I'm just going to try and do a pivot here. I want to be a business advisor of some sort, mm -hmm. you know, and I, long story, but the SBA gave me the opportunity mm -hmm. to come and counsel its small business clients. And so here I am, and then they gave me another opportunity through the Veterans Business Outreach to go onto the bases mm -hmm. and to um, be an instructor for the Boost to Business program, which is part of their TAP program, mm -hmm. Transitional Assistance, so that when uh, enlisted uh, people, uh, soldiers and officers 
as they transition back to civilian life, mm -hmm. they have options. Okay. Employment options or entrepreneurship is another option. Mm -hmm. And it's a fabulous program that they have to provide high quality information to uh, our veterans so that they can make um, have a variety of pathways right, to earn money after the military. And that's a two-day workshop? It's a two-day workshop. We cover A to Z. Mm -hmm. We go from how to recognize you know, what would make a good business, what's a viable business idea, right. and how to turn that into something that would um, provide self-employment, and then how to make it go the next step to actually profitability okay. and success. Right. And it's great. It's a two-day thing. If for those who complete the two-day course, uh, they actually, we partner, the SBA is partnered with Stanford, um, it's the Syracuse University, mm -hmm. uh, to provide um, an eight-week online course oh, for okay. free. So it's continuing education after the Boost Business Workshop. Yeah, and it's absolutely free. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful resource. If you're a veteran, you know, take advantage of it. Right. Um, you sign up for the you don't have to be program. just recently um, no uh, out of the military no. you can be planning to get out you can be out already mm -hmm. you can be a veteran or on your way transitioning you can be a spouse of a veteran and also we have people that work uh, civilians that work on base mm -hmm. yeah um, you have to be a veteran to take the free college courses okay. uh, but it's a, it's just a way to help with the the knowledge, the skills, and the confidence to get back into civilian life. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so it's my yeah. privilege and honor, really. Oh, well, congratulations for the recognition. You really deserve it. Oh, and you. I want to let everybody know that you can actually find Noella as a business counselor at the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership downtown on Richard Street at YWCA Oahu. She is a fantastic counselor for entrepreneurs and people wanting to start a small business mm -hmm. or for people wanting to grow their small business. Yeah. She has many years of experience, and obviously she's doing a fantastic job because she's headed on to Gen 2 <laughs> at Frozen Fun LLC. Yeah. Now, just give us um, the an email or contact information for Frozen Fun in case sure. anybody's interested in it. Sure. So our website is www.frozenfunhawaii.com, mm -hmm. and our number is 808-722. 0268. And uh, if you go on our website, you can submit an inquiry page. If you mm -hmm. have a graduation party coming up, book us now because we're nearly full, but uh -huh. you know, we'll try Fantastic. to do what we can. Or just pick up the phone and um, yeah, 722 Fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much for being on today. Thanks, Colleen. Definitely. And uh, I'd like to thank all the, uh, the Small Business Administration and all the SBA partners. And just a quick reminder to if you're a small business, to please sign up for Shop Small Hawaii, register yourself online, and become a neighborhood champion. That's it for today. Thanks so much.